What's up, Cancers? Okay, let's get into the vibes. Because when I was getting into you guys' energy space, I kept getting the same frequency. Some of y'all, you already know this energy. You just, you just give it off, right? Whether you're famous or not, well-known or not, you know, it's just some people be looking at you like, ain't you, um, ain't you, uh, 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 what's, what's that? You know, that kind of thing. Or uh, if this hasn't happened yet, this is about to happen to you. Some of you guys have tapped into the same frequency. And that frequency is about to have you manifesting, uh, getting recognized. Maybe videos going viral. Um, you've tapped into something. Let's just say you did it, okay? Whatever it was you were trying to tap into, you found the frequency, you found the vibration. Get ready. Here comes all of the stuff that comes with it, okay? Let's go ahead and jump to the vibes. Great, great news, Cancer! Patreon did something new. They switched it up. When you join Patreon, you pay the day you join, and then guess what? That's your cycle date. From then on, you pay on that date. So if you join on the 29th, you join on the 30th, you pay again the following month on the 30th. It used to be if you join on the 30th, they'll turn around and charge you again on the 1st to be paid up for that month. Well, they switched it around. This will probably work a lot better for you guys. So that means you don't have to wait to the 1st anymore. You can join any day you want. And whatever day you join, you are choosing your cycle date, your monthly cycle date. Okay, so go ahead over to patreon and get the extended of these vibes okay so let's go ahead let's jump in the fame frequency what do we have who the death card i am learning that endings are merely beginnings this is just the beginning remember i said i said remember remember i said you let go of a bunch of low vibrational frequencies it's kind of like your antennas were looking for something to tap into and because it was no longer tapped into low vibrational energies, it wasn't tapped into, you know, things that are making you sad or bringing the energy down, it had to find something else. And all of the low vibrational frequencies, they're all closed off. You can't reach those. It's only high vibrational. So somewhere within you, you tap into that frame frequency because you let something else go. This is why things are switching or shifting, if you can feel it, you know? All right, what else do we get? Harmony and resolutions all right this is also like it's not just what you're having i feel like this is what happens when you walk in the room there's harmony in the room you give off this vibe this energy can y'all see how on this card like she has all this energy bursting from her okay all of these vibes and these sens sensations um you're about to make things happen in other people's lives just by your energy okay someone may have been going through something or they may have been fighting some things in the spirit, you know, but then you walk into the room and the way your angels come in, that energy you carry, even if you didn't tap into the fame frequency, you might have tapped into the demon whooping frequency. And, and, and now your angels, just anytime they see anything, they just want to go to slam. Okay. So you walk into the room and people get set free. Your energy, your vibe is healing. To other people okay so maybe i'm, I'm picking up other vibes some of y'all maybe didn't tap into the fame frequency you tap into the healer frequency or the um the the good aura type thing when you walk into the room just you walking into the room has set people free or it will okay let's see what do we have here? Fame frequency. That nine of cups tried to jump over. That's that dreams coming true energy. Let's see what we got since of the reading. The king of cups, that's you or that's someone coming. Okay. Um, this is someone who is at the top of their game, emotionally secure, right? Um, structured, disciplined. This person right here, they know how to sympathize with other people. And again, you see that cup? It's like you are the king or the queen of this energy space. When you step into the room, it is your vibration that is, I want to even say, almost like an offering, okay? Some of you guys may wonder why good things happen to you, and it's just like random. Like, oh my God, these great things just keep happening to me. What I'm getting to tell you is that behind the scenes, what you don't see happening again, your energy, your vibe, you being at the top of your game, you walking into the room, your presence, that kind of stuff has set people free. And just because you didn't see it, just because you didn't necessarily hear about it, doesn't mean you won't see or hear about your blessing. 
that is attached to that. Some of you guys have, again, healed and set people free, and this is what's about to come around to reward you. You're going to be looking like, wait a minute, I didn't, What? oh, goodness, what did I do to deserve this? And it's an accumulation of good karma that you cannot see. Good things that you've done, when you left a place, you spoke an encouraging word and it healed somebody and the universe is paying you back, okay? This card jumps over what's crossing it, the Ace of Cups. Man, it's like you have a never-ending cup or you have um, like an unlimited supply. Remember uh, what I was saying? You're going to get something back. You're about to get something back huge. Watch this. You see that cup? Can you see the size of that cup? It's a, it's a cool cup for a king or queen. But the universe is saying, listen, I want to quadruple that. You've been doing so good, so well, behind the scenes, offering this cup. That cup is, you know, again, healing. It's, it's renewing. It's refreshing. It's like your vibe and your energy is setting crooked places straight in places that you can't even see. And the reward is, boom, we're going to quadruple the size of your cup. All right. So this is about to be a huge change. When we're talking about cups, we're talking about emotional fulfillment. You guys are going to be just as happy as you make other people. You guys are going to be just as refreshed and refilled. It's kind of almost like you're going to get a taste of your own medicine or you're going to get a sip from your own cup. Except it's a God cup. It's like you get to see what you've done. You get to see all your good karma. OK, what's at the base of this? Ah, the Ten of Wands. Because you got rid of some stuff that was done. Now, this is the other thing, too. Um, I have to give this as kind of like a warning. You Can you see how this person is curled up in a little bit of a ball and all of these wands are pointing at that person? Okay, this is just to let you know, when you tap into that fame frequency and you start getting recognized and people are looking at you, this may be what you want to do. The universe single-handedly is going to hand you a brand new cup to... Put you in this brand new position, this brand new spotlight. Okay, but do you see, again, there's this spotlight. Look at you curled up in a ball, pad. Mm -hmm. Some of y'all about to get what you asked for, what you prayed for. You're about to get some of the things that you never even thought would come true. They're going to come true, and they're going to come true way bigger than you thought. You're being prepared now to know that is a thing. It's not something that you should ball up from. It's not something you should be running away from. It's something that you should be embracing. What's about to happen to you, what's about to come into your life is a gift. And you're being told before it gets to you, don't run and curl up in a ball and try to throw away what you asked for. You need to embrace it. You need not uh, shy away from your good karma. Some of y'all karma is about to be so good, you're going to ball up. You're going to be like, no, I don't deserve all of that. Okay, let's see what happened in the past, in the recent past. Ooh, the three of wands. But look, watch this. Can you see how in the past you expect something? You expect that something is coming into my life, something big is happening. I've been doing the work. I've been uh, working on my inside, saying my affirmations, being positive, keeping my mind on high vibrational things, right? So you were looking and you were expecting some good things to come in. But then when that thing comes in, look at how it happens. It's like standing up tall, waiting for it to come in. Then it comes in. It's like, oh no, curl up in a ball, okay? So again, you're being told. This thing is coming. What you pray for is coming. What you ask for is coming. Do not run, ball up in a, curl up in a ball, and, you know, run from this thing. You need to embrace this thing. You see how her arms are open? That's how your arms are about to be, okay? Let's see what's going on in the head space. The eight of wands. Look at that. More wands, 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 wands. This is all about action. Some of y'all, okay, but this fame frequency, like I was getting with the other uh, reading for the collective, you're about to get a lot of invitations, you're, you're about to be events, VIPs, right? You're going to be uh, like somebody famous is going to an event. You're going to be there plus one, right? These are messages coming in. I've been telling the collective, you guys got to get ready. Get your speeches ready. Get your social skills together. Get your small talk together, right? Get all of those things together because those are going to be very important now, all right? Learning how to manage relationships. I said that in the last collective reading. All right. But it's a lot of swift, fast communication coming in towards you. It has a lot to do with the frequency you tap into, which is F-A-M-E. Even if you don't have anything around you that would suggest you are a popular, well-known person, it's the energy. It's the vibe. 
okay? Near future, what we got coming up? One of them, ooh, Queen of Pentacles. You know, this to me is, uh, go listen to my single, Ride the Wave. This is Ride the Wave type energy, okay? This is something comes along and you make uh, something out of nothing. You ever seen somebody, they get one chance at something and they ride that thing till the wheels fall off. And when the wheels fall off, they make some more wheels, okay? And they do whatever they can. They, but by the time the wheels fall off, they've already built some wings. And now they're going to take it off and fly it. Okay, this is what's about to happen. You guys have opportunities of a lifetime coming, and I keep feeling the need to tell you, for some of you all, I'm seeing this in reverse. I'm seeing it strengthening you. For some of you guys, you feel down, defeated, counted out, and there's something that's about to put you on the map. There's something that's about to switch your life around. There's about to be a shift that happens in your life that takes you from this curl up in a ball position. Because remember I said I'm seeing this like something, you knew something was coming in and then bad, you want to hide from it. But for some of y'all, this is the reverse, right? You don't think nothing good is coming in for you at all. You ain't expecting nothing. You curled up in the ball because you worried about the past and all that stuff. Meanwhile, boom, something comes in and completely changes your life. You go from this position to seeing something is done and over with to this position just like that, okay? This to me is screaming, your video went viral, and now, you know, you got to make sure you're on top of your game. But some of you guys are expecting something to happen. For some of y'all, this is you getting a phone call, and they need you to be the manager. You you are working every day as an associate. You get a call from this different company. They need you to be the boss. They need you to be the CEO. You know what I mean? And just like that, things switch. I got it just like that, and it's all because of the the frequency that you tapped into, okay? So let's continue this. I want to talk about some fears. I want to talk about the point of view, looking at you from the outside in, I want to see look like, okay? Or how does it, you know, feel to be sitting next to someone who's tapped into that same frequency, all right? Uh, then we're going to be talking about some hopes and then the next 30 days, the next 30 days as it pertains to the fame frequency, okay? So that's what I get for you, Cancers. Thank you guys so much for watching. Follow me on Instagram. Follow me on TikTok. Uh, subscribe to this channel if you're not subscribed. I'd love to have you as one of my subscribers. Like this video. Head on over to Patreon to extend extended. Make sure you guys head on over to Amazon. Grab a copy of my workbook and journal, Yeah, That Dream. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys on Patreon if this is where it ends for you. Thank you so much for watching once again, and I'll see y'all in the next video.